Hi, and welcome to the lecture of evolution of the modern diet, where we're going to go through a bunch of these revolutions that we've gone through, where our food has started, and where we have eventually ended up. So let's just jump right in. We began with the agricultural revolution. It's, this was 10,000 to 12,000 years ago. This is where towns and cities emerged and we moved away from having our food produced by ourselves and grown to outsourcing and relying and depending upon farmers instead of ourselves. Next, we have the introduction of refined sugar, which was 1600s. With this refined sugar, you are now making things hyper palatable in uh, stimulating those sources in the um, areas in the brain that want more, just crave more, desire more, and really putting more preservatives and chemicals in these foods that um, eventually uh, degenerate over the years as we get further and further away from the nutrient-rich things that our ancestors knew and our innate wisdom to eat the good whole foods with minerals and vitamins and all that good stuff. Next, we come to the Industrial Revolution in the mid-1800s. With the Industrial Revolution, our focus is instead of on farming food, we are now buying it from outsourced um, places. With that, more chemicals, more preservatives, and things that aren't as great or aren't great at all and aren't really food. Finally, we come into the 1800s, early 1900s, and we have the rise of big food. Uh, Nestle and uh, we have Coca-Cola, Kellogg's, they may have started out as uh, focused on nutrition. However, adding more preservatives and things to the food, making it less natural, it became a big business and is now driven by dollars. Next, we have the chemical revolution. And the chemical revolution uh, is during the World War II era where we had to ship food overseas and um, make sure that it didn't spoil. So with doing that, we're adding preservatives, chemicals, chemicals and prolonging things um, for shelf life. Finally, we have the revolution that we are currently in, the digital revolution or the information age, where there's decreased levels of activity and interaction and we sit for our jobs, we sit for our play, we sit when we do pretty much everything, playing on our phones, looking at the computer, with that is less activity and focuses on convenience and having food that is now completely packed full of preservatives and chemicals that it hardly even represents food what are is supposed to do. So even though it may look like the same food that our ancestors has had, it's so different. And if we don't give our body what it needs on the cellular chemical level, we can't give it what the organism is supposed and intended to do. Because everything has changed in our food. We don't have the vitamins, we don't have the minerals, and it's lacking on an organism level. So we need to get back to real food, um, the nutrients dense things that our body is craving for because there's been this complete disconnect as our food has gone from wholesome nutrient rich to full of things that don't even make it represent food. So I hope you learned a little bit and have a great day.